movieweb.com. So I just wanted to start by asking about the, you know, the film is so funny and the script is completely out of left field. So I was just wondering, what inspired you to write that? Were you guys involved with creative camps as kids, or how did you, you know, where did that come from? Yeah, you know, Jerusha, she has a cousin that's like 14 and lives up in Alaska and for a long time. Uh, he's written really messed up science fiction stories and fantasy stories that are really gruesome and his parents have been worried about him. And we thought it would be a funny kind of idea for a film. And we heard about him going to some, some writer's camp in the East Coast and... I mean, we didn't even know those existed. <laughs> okay, so that was new to you too. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Sure. Okay, and when you heard about that, like, oh, this could be funny to kind of play with this. And, totally. Yeah. Okay, Have awesome. a kid get ripped off. Have the hack writer come and talk, and it's also funny to include like a large majority of homeschool kids there in the audience. And we homeschool our. Kids we're a supporter right now. of it. But okay. But, <laughs> we recognize but, the. But we recognize the, the, the yeah. The stigma attached. And, and the sci-fi element was that something you know? Are you fan of sci-fi? Did you kind of want to poke fun at that a little bit? No, I'm a super big fan of sci-fi of science fiction films and, and books. You know, as a kid, I I wanted to be like a special effects supervisor or something, and um, and so a lot of my early films were real low budge, uh, you know, matte paintings and models and things like that. This um, was like a like a dream come true for Jerry yeah, to, so get to it, build that. It was those kind parts. of an, an indulgent fantasy to be able to uh, have some sci-fi sequences in this film. Yeah, you know, the stuff with Sam Rockwell is so great, um, and, and and doing it from the different versions of it too. Which mm. is, yeah, which yeah, is, which is really that great. was a lot of fun. Collaborating with Mike White again. I know this is the second time you guys mm -hmm. worked with him. Um, how was that different or similar to working with him on Nacha? It was fun to get him in front of the camera. I mean, he's uh, he's one of the most entertaining, funny people I know, and and it was great to put him in a wig and a a thick sweater tucked into some jean shorts and and you know. Have him put a boa constrictor around his neck. How grossed out did the snake scene make you guys on the set? Was that? Uh, it, it was fun. It grossed him out a little bit more. We were we were stepping away. We didn't smell it, so I guess yeah, I guess it was like I baby think it food was and made out of like beef stew, <laughs> beef stew and blended. mustard, and I don't know. Yeah. Um, and then I wanted to ask you about the cast. It's so great, um, Jermaine and uh, Jennifer Coolidge. What was it like put, bringing them together and working with them on the set? It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, we we were very fortunate with um, uh, the cast that we ended up with. Everybody was so funny. And it, it's always refreshing when, after you've written something, that the actors, you know, they on set when you're filming, wanting to bring new ideas to the table. And you know, some of them end up in the film, some of them don't. But it's it's always great to have people. Was there that a are, lot of that with you know improv people like? Oh Jennifer yeah. Oh, with Jennifer and, Jermaine, and yeah. Sam Rockwell and, and oh. Jermaine, you know, who all have improv backgrounds. They were constantly coming up with fun ideas that that a, a lot of them ended up in the film and and, um, and it was so much fun to have people that are that love their work and their characters. People that, that are much. more talented than us. It's yeah, nice. it's fun. It's <laughs> fun. We want to fix that script a bit. Um, and finding Michael for, I mean, obviously that must have been a, a, a big challenge in finding a, a character that could really carry the film and sure. be the protagonist. So what was it? Uh, what was the experience finding Michael for that? Yeah, you know, we, you know, he was uh, definitely the character. We weren't sure who we wanted uh, to play that role, but uh, he did a great audition. And I was a big fan of his work in Snow Angels, and um, uh, he's just a super talented guy, and, and you know, and he had a really real brought a genuine quality. Yeah, to the he character. had a real sweetness. I mean, off camera and on camera, and it just it worked for the character. And, and then um, it's a very interesting world that you've created in the film. So I was just wondering what you hope audiences sort of take from that, I mean, other than just laughing and, and getting the joke of it. Yeah, you know, I mean, we, um, you know, so much of our environment where we live inspires what we do. And, and uh, you know, both of us having grown up in small towns and everything, and, and it's it's fun to be able to see the, the dreams and ambitions of, of people in, in, in middle America, you know, living out in, in a rural place. And all these creative weirdos. I mean, it's so fascinating. People who are creative are really fascinating to us. And, and you know, yeah, it's, she's creating these weird nightgowns and, and bad movies, but it's the process is so fascinating. The creative process is so satisfying. It's for us, the characters in the film, it, it's so fun to see them. Um, find satisfaction in the work that they do, however bizarre or offbeat it may be. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Gentlemen Broncos, 